Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Here I am with the FabFitFun Fall 2019 add-on sale video where I film my tips and tricks and talk about everything I've learned about everything that's available. I do this every quarter if you're new to my channel, so hit subscribe and introduce yourself below. I am not the expert. I'm not the end-all be-all on any of these things. I'm just sharing this to be helpful and to talk to you guys. I really love interacting with all the other FabFitFun members. I'm going to go through and record my screen if you're new and talk about all the products. I'm also going to go through my fall customizations but you know what this fall box is pretty terrible there's really nothing in it that I'm excited about if I didn't have a straightener already I'd be excited about the straightener but I'll get into that I'm gonna talk about the ways that I pare down my cart actually I'm trying to be helpful to share my tips and tricks on how I pare down my cart because it's so hard not to just go overboard and want to buy everything in these sales I am buying a lot of Christmas presents so let's get into recording my screen Okay, here we are in my screen. Um, let's just do the customizations first. Like I said, I'm really not very excited about these. Um, I am just going to get the yoga mat for the first customization choice. I would be excited about the straightener, except for I got one of the new me straighteners a few sales ago, which is an excellent straightener. Amika is a good brand. At least people say really good things about their hair care products, so hopefully their styling tool is good too. I don't know. The teeth whitening kit. It has, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about teeth whitening in the add-on sale reviews, but um, be anyway, because there are a bunch available, but this one had uh, reviews, I and not very many of them online after just a quick search. One of the ways I pare down my cart is that if it doesn't have at least four stars, I'm not, I just don't consider it. Uh, that's just because it's helpful to save my wallet, really. And I can make the decision and be done with it and move on. Anyway, so I'm just going to get the yoga mat. I already have a yoga mat, but I figure this one's kind of cool because it folds, which I've never seen that before. And I will keep one of my yoga mats in my office because I really, really need to start a fitness routine. Okay, so this is my first customization. For the next one, I picked... I didn't really know what to pick here. Um, I guess I was. I, I don't want anything. <laughs> uh, I don't. I I don't want anything here. So I just am going with the lunchbox. I figure it's the cutest and most giftable. I I think. I I have a very yeah. Um, and maybe I can use it. I ha I yeah. Anyway, I didn't really want any of these things. I didn't really want any of these things either. This powder stuff, uh, oh, nope, don't add that. Uh, this powder form of skincare, I have to get used to it. I have one to test that's a cleanser, um, but I'm not, I'm so far, I'm resistant to that change. It's definitely a new thing that we're seeing more and more of. Um, so I'm not interested in that. I've just never, I've seen this a bunch of times too. I'm just, I have so many masks. So many masks that you can probably relate. Um, I do think that these are pretty. What I am a little frustrated about is that this doesn't show the materials that the earrings are made out of, but I do know that Bobble Bar is usually on the cheaper side of the materials. They're usually brass, but they are very pretty. So I am kind of excited to get those, I suppose. I'm trying to be excited. <laughs> I'm really not excited about any. Like, that's that's pretty bad. Any. Like, zero of these am I excited about. I don't need a salt and pepper shaker, but I don't want... It's the thing that I guess I want the most here. I, uh, anyway, so I suppose people might want to see what the options are. Am I going too fast? I don't know if I'm going too fast. I'm sorry if I'm going too fast. I'll slow it down a little bit moving forward, but my last video was an hour and 45 minutes, and I'm trying to spare you guys from that. So I got the pepper mill, mill here. Here we have this uh, Skinvolve Body Boost Gel. You put it on pre-workout for to help your muscles out. I guess it works. Um, this is a Trustique Eye Makeup uh, Essentials, Eye Essentials Set, and then this is a hair turban, turban after spa hair towel wrap. Uh, I guess I'm not using the word turban here, which I, I do find it kind of interesting that they use the word turban. Anywho, so I'm getting this. I, I guess it's it looks kind of nice. <laughs> God, I'm trying to be so excited. Um, 
again, I don't know much about essential oils and using them to relax or for our health. I think that they can be very effective. I just don't know and I haven't used them. So this doesn't appeal to me. And I might switch to the Skin & Co. toner. That's possible. This does have good reviews. I don't use toner, so maybe this would be a good way to step into that. I mean, I'm not really excited about these Wander Beauty Eye things, so maybe I'll switch to that now. Let's just switch over to that. And then that's it. I'm not getting any extras, obviously. Um, so let's move on from the customizations. I want to get into my add-on review. I don't feel like I was very helpful with the customizations just because I'm very apathetic about all those products. I do like this add-on sale better than the last sale, the edit sale for summer. First, I'm going to do a recap on the things that I do to pare down my cart. I have three things that I uh, pay attention to. One is, is it cruelty free? I have gotten more and more strict about being cruelty free with myself. There's never any judgment on my channel if you're not cruelty free. I'm going to do a video actually in the near future uh, and it's going to be like my top five or ten whatever number it turns out to be. My top tips to go cruelty free and how to do it and how and talk about a little bit more about how I did it. I did it less than a year ago. I started the process less than a year ago. It's a process. Anyway, this is my favorite cruelty free site and reference guide. It's called Cruelty Free Kitty. It's cruelty-free-kitty.com. And I really like the person who maintains this. I need to learn her name. Uh, I'm not going to spend time trying to find it right now, but I need to learn her name and give her credit. She does an excellent job of researching. She has this search tool right here on the home page. So I'm going to do an example. I'm going to do Saturday Skin. Um, and I am going to show you that Saturday Skin is in the gray area. So she'll either say that they are cruelty free, they're in the gray area, or they are not cruelty free. And when she says something's in the gray area, it means that there is no clear answer as to whether or not they're cruelty free. So I am pretty strict as far as cruelty free. So if they're in the gray area, I won't purchase them. Usually if a company's cruelty free, they will brag about it on their website. It will be very clear that they do not allow their products to be tested on animals. So if it's not to me, I think that's really fishy. So that's cruelty free kitty this is kind of I don't there are others there's ethical elephant there's logical harmony there's PETA uh, there's cruelty free international there are other sites I have found this one to be my favorite and really this search tool that she has on her home page is just so easy you just go to cruelty-free-kitty.com and you plug in the brand here and there you go Sometimes she doesn't have a brand. I oftentimes notice that if it's K-Beauty, well, Saturday Skin is K-Beauty since she had that, but I oftentimes notice that if it's newer K-Beauty lines, she doesn't have it and uh, you have to do a little bit more digging. Anyway, I need to <laughs> make this video shorter than the last one. Okay, so the first thing is um, I check to see if it's cruelty-free. The second thing is I consider the ingredients. I'm a little less strict with myself with ingredients and um, a lot of ingredients that are flagged, you know, it's kind of more like if you can avoid it, you might as well because it could be harmful. Um, I saw another YouTuber do a video where she was, she was really ranting about how there's all this stuff instilling all this fear in people about toxic stuff in our beauty products. But anyway, so I thought I would mention that that's, that's my take on an ingredients is if you can avoid an ingredient, you might as well. So this is my favorite ingredient checker. This is Skin Charisma. I am gonna go to their, right, so the, their homepage obviously would just be skincharisma.com. So here's the URL. So it's skincharisma.com. And then if you go right here on their homepage to Cosmetic Analyzer, they have a little search box, or not a search box, I'm sorry, a, a text field where you can go and you can lift ingredients. So let's take the ingredients from Ms. Skin, uh, the face wash, copy and paste these in here. 
and we're going to analyze the product and then it will spit out a little report and it will flag the ingredients that are well it will list all of the ingredients and it will flag the ones that might be questionable so i have an account what's extra awesome is you can create an account for yourself i have an account that i created you can build a profile you can let skin charisma know what ingredients you want it to especially point out to you what doesn't work for you. This would be awesome if you have sensitive skin and you are allergic to a lot of different ingredients. This is excellent. So I have just these are what's listed. It's not allergen free. So this Ms. Skin Care uh, face wash is not allergen free. Here's the list of the ingredients. The ingredient name is right here. This is the EWG rating, which is the Environmental Working Group rating, and this is the co Cosmetics. I always forget what that's called. Um, cosmetics, I mean, what that stands for. Uh, that is the Cosmetic Ingredient Review. So they have their own website, and then so does the Environmental Working Group, which is EWG.org. And that is where those two ratings come from. So this is EWG, this is CIR. So those two uh, websites really give these ingredients ratings. And most of the time they do match up. You can see here it, got, it has an, this ingredient which can be toxic. Um, it, it's again, if you can avoid it, you might as well kind of deal. And it has an A from CIR, but a four from EWG. So they don't always agree. So. In those instances, you want to maybe just Google that ingredient and dig a little further and see what you can find and make a decision for yourself for what works for you. Um, so that's this is how I double check ingredients. It's my favorite ingredient checker and you can create a profile for yourself and really quickly check a product so that you don't have to stare at all of these words and what the heck do these mean and anyway okay I have to <laughs> remember to move on and stop ranting okay so that is the second thing that I check and then I do the quick check for ratings I do a quick check to make sure that the company is ethical otherwise usually if they're cruelty free it's paired with a lot of sustainable and uh, charitable practices with a company so that usually aligns really well so now let's get oh and then the third thing the third tip is if you are new and you haven't explored the FabFitFun forum oh I know you <laughs> this is uh, um <laughs> she's a subscriber friend anyway so this is the forum and um I stock this forum during sales and I have read so you can see this particular thread has 591 posts I've read 589 of them I've also been following a final add-on carts thread I have only read half of this one and there's a lot of info in here but there are a whole lot of threads on the um, here is the main community homepage this is where all the threads are and you can go and you can start your own you can follow uh, other ones that are talk just talking about information on the sales and on FabFitFun in general <clears throat> excuse me Okay, so that's the the last tip. Now let's get into talking about the products that are available. Should I start? Let's start with my cart. My cart is, let's see, $830. I am not going to buy anywhere near this. When the sale opened, I think I had 9320 something. So this is my cart. I think, though... So, so that's what my cart looks like. I want to go to the main page where they have all of the products, though. So, okay, apologies, that took a little bit of time to load. Okay, so mystery bundles are a big gamble. I got one and I probably won't ever do it again. Um, they're just a gamble, they're just a gamble. I've seen some really awesome ones. I had a friend who got one recently, got three recently and they all 
we're just terrible. <laughs> so they're a gamble. If you have the extra $29 and you want to, it's a fun experience and a nice surprise, but it could be a terrible surprise. I don't really get things like this um, and these little packages. I, I suppose I could donate a dollar to the City of Hope. Why not? Um, if you, these bundles are great. If you are new and you don't know, they, um, oh, I just remembered something else. If you're new and you don't know, these are usually about $5 off the, what the actual total would be if you bought each of, each of these things individually. I almost forgot to tell you some tips on how to navigate the sale itself. This is especially important if you're a new member um, because I remember when I was new and I didn't know these tricks, it was a lot more difficult. So if you are in the sale, there's something that was out of stock and you're like, how the heck did it go out of stock so quickly? Then you, what you want to do is you want to favorite that item by clicking this little heart and then you want to go to your favorites and that's where you play what you will notice members call the refresh game. So you will just refresh here. That way it's just that product showing up. Actually, this is where I want to be. That way it's just the products that this, yeah, okay, these are the ones I favorited. It's just those products showing up when you refresh. You don't have to scroll and scroll and scroll every time you refresh to see if it's become available or not. So that's a really, really important tip that I wish I had known for the first few sales. Another tip is if you are debating whether or not to get something and you, you, it you check the last call. If it's in last call, it doesn't mean it will never show up in a sale again, but it does mean that it's less likely to show up in a sale again, or at least show up in a sale in the near future. So that can be um, something to help you decide if you're really, really on the fence. Okay, back to reviewing the products. That's what you're probably most of you are really, really here for. Um, so I talked about the bundles. I'm going to skip through this, the bundles, because um, I will talk about each thing individually as I get down further and see them individually. So the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Hair Cap. I used this deep conditioner just out of a tube, and it wasn't my favorite. I've used better. It was good. It was a good uh condition uh, deep it was a good hair mask sorry I haven't used it in this form though I did see that some people somebody found it on Costco if you're a Costco member for the same price so you might get it on Costco if you want to spare yourself from getting it here I didn't double check so double check before you dump it but check it out um, not a lot of people are talking about this People are talking about the um, the Revita Lash, I think. We'll get to it. But not a lot of people are talking about this one. Um, Dr. Brandt tests on animals. They are not cruelty-free, so I don't even consider their products. Rodeal, people are using this stuff, buying this stuff, and people are saying really, really good things about it. I have yet to use anything. If you're interested in Rodeal, you know, and you want to try the cruelty-free thing, you can type in Rodeal. I don't remember if it's cruelty-free or not. I just haven't wanted to try it quite yet. But see, it's in cruelty-free kitty, and it's cruelty-free. Another thing that I check is the parent company. I don't buy products where the parent company isn't cruelty-free either. So Rodeal is not owned by a parent company that tests on animals. So what happens there, for instance, Origins is cruelty-free. However, they're owned by Estee Lauder, which is a bigger company, which is not cruelty-free. So to me, they're guilty by association, and then I don't buy them. It just depends on what level of cruelty-free you're comfortable with being. Um, okay, let's get back into the product reviews. Um, this, there was a YouTube video from a woman who did a really good review on this. I will try to remember to put a link to that video in the description box. If you look and it's not there, definitely leave me a comment and let me know. I will add it ASAP. Um, but I will do, I, I will put that link to that video and she had a bad experience. It caused blotchiness on her skin. So it was a helpful video and really helpful to just exit from my cart. This Miss Skin, this is a product by a doctor who is in the UK, I believe, and she 
I, I couldn't find anything as to whether or not it was cruelty free for sure. So I ended up uh, dumping it. Well, I am dumping it now. I dumped something else from her line. It's a high end line and, and I tried to figure out, let me make sure I'm talking about the right one. I tried to figure out why it was so expensive for her stuff and there was there are some causes that they donate proceeds to but it was still like not that much like our contribution they donated 20 percent of profits to here they donated 20 percent of profits to give medical attention and equipment to children in lebanon i believe yeah lebanon and then they donated a percentage of proceeds it didn't say how much to uh, breast cancer research but some of their products are still you know $350 so I was trying to figure out why why it's so expensive and I couldn't really they have some good causes and then also I couldn't again I couldn't I couldn't find confirmation that they're actually cruelty free so I am not going to be purchasing them I do think that I saw somebody say though that they got a sample of this and they gave it to somebody in their family who really really enjoys using it so all of that other stuff aside if you're interested in getting this I do think it could be simply how it functions as a product it, it looks appealing. I was I was curious about it. Run, you know, you can run the ingredients through the checker and check out their website. I, I'd be curious to try it. But for those other reasons, it was a good way for me to save some money and cut it out of my cart. I have this. It, to me, smells like rose. I have seen some people say it doesn't smell like roses at all. It just smells floral. I smell rose. Um, it's pink, so it's obviously dyed. Uh, oh, it's pinker than that. And it has, the thing that I didn't realize about it actually though is that it has a slight shimmer, which is kind of pretty. It probably has some mica in it, which mica is a whole thing in itself. I'll talk about mica later if I see it in a product. Um, I might even make a whole video about mica. There's a Refinery29 video about mica. I will link in the description box. Mica is the mineral that makes things shimmery, like our bronzers and whatnot. There is a really good video by Hot and Flashy about this. Uh, it looks like it could be really nice, especially if you're sagging a little bit. It uses electrical impulses and sends them through your face to help tighten it up. Um, and uh, this is refurbished though, I believe. That's what I wanted to say. Refreshed devices. So they use the word refreshed, <laughs> uh, but it's refurbished. So be careful there. Also, I don't know if at only $50 off, you might, I don't know if buying it maybe through the company, you might be able to get some sort of guarantee or anything or something like that. It's, it's a little pricey. I hesitate to buy electronics on these sales. More rodeal. Again, people are saying good things about their products. Um, people say that these really work, the Mighty Patches. Um, I am getting this in the editor's box. The summer editor's box looked really good. I ended up buying one. My summer edit sale stuff and my editor's box have not shipped. I am, I'm, I'm actually, I'm like really not ready for this sale. It feels so soon. It's the middle of the summer and it's the fall box. It's so silly. Anyway, here's more Dr. Brandt. They test on animals. Oh, aside from testing on animals, people do like Dr. Brandt stuff. I don't want to just gloss over something because I appreciate the fact that some of you watching may not be cruelty free. And I will, you know, I wasn't a year ago. So, um, People do like the Dr. Brandt line of products, especially, I remember hearing awesome things about the microdermabrasion exfoliant, which I think is available in this sale. So um, I like the Daily Concept stuff. I have some of their exfoliating gloves. If you want to throw one of those in your cart, I do like my gloves. This is the same company that did the Namaste uh, <clears throat> turmeric and herbal moisturizer and uh, gel cleanser. And then... Um, they also did the Skin RX uh, Vitamin C Serum, I think it was. And this one doesn't have the greatest re reviews, though. So I axed it from my cart. I actually wouldn't mind helping with some hair growth around my crown, um, my crown, my temples, or wherever it is. I have some really thin spots in my hair around my face. Um, 
So I did consider it, but it doesn't have great reviews. I was interested in this and I dumped it because I couldn't find anything that proved to me, well, I couldn't find any reviews on this. Let's start there, zero reviews. And then I couldn't find anything that made it clear that it was cruelty free. They talked about not um, using animal ingredients and they talked about it being organic, but they did not use the words cru cruelty free, which I found to be fishy. So I doubt that this is cruelty free. And then again, zero reviews. So I am not, I, and I, yeah, no one seemed to know anything about it. Um, I may get this. I do need a moisturizer. I'm still not sure. I love Grown Alchemist, but I haven't loved everything that I've used by them. I've used a lot of stuff by them at this point. Um, so this is in the running for a moisturizer. I haven't tried the genera Generation Clay Mask from the last box, but some people, I believe people liked it. I don't, I, uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm going to stop talking on that one. The Kula Sunscreen. So I have this. It does smell like sunscreen, not overwhelming, but it smells like sunscreen. It's a chemical sunscreen, so if you're not interested in doing chemical sunscreens and you're more toward mineral, this wouldn't be for you. Um, but otherwise, I think it's decent. Oh! I have heard, <laughs> I'm going to do that a lot where I remember things, I have heard that some people, uh, it doesn't wear well under makeup. It really doesn't wear well under makeup. I've heard that from a lot of people. So, um, I usually don't get spongels, but somebody asked me to get some for them. So I have a bunch of them in my cart and then we're going to talk tomorrow and figure out which one she wants. Um, so, and then the Ciate London Translucent Setting Powder. I have heard great things, except for I did see one post where somebody said they tried it and it didn't work for them. But they tried it once, I believe. So, you know, I am a big believer that we should give a product at least three tries before we really rule it out. You know, sometimes we just use too much or too little and it's user error. Um, anyway, otherwise, though, I heard really good things about this setting powder and I've been doing Get Ready With Me's on my channel, so I'm excited to try it. Um, here's the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion. This is the one that when I first joined, I was so excited to try it because I had heard wonderful things. And then I saw somebody post on the forum that they test on animals. And that was when my head just exploded. And I looked into this whole animal testing in the cosmetics world. And I learned about cruelty free kitty and I got into this cruelty free thing. I had no idea. I had no idea that it was still happening until I saw that post. And anyway, I'll do another video about that stuff. Um, but I have heard this is wonderful. This, that this is a really wonderful exfoliant. If you want to give it a try, um, I haven't gotten into anything about this company. I'm not going to get in. I Nobody talks about it as being something that's amazing on the forum. I don't really look into it. Anyway, I'm going to move on then. Um, this I've heard, I've seen a couple people say that this is amazing. And then I've seen most people say it did nothing for them. I think that if you maybe don't need as intense of a mask, that this is probably okay. Um, but yeah. Uh, I mean, immunocology, people who spring for the immunocology stuff say that it's amazing. Although I did get my mother this and she said it smelled like pepper and it kept her awake <laughs> at night. So she gave it to my sister and my sister loves it. Okay. Um, here's more of another PMD um, thing. People were asking about this. Nobody could answer. And again, I just, I just wouldn't get a lot of electronics on here. Um, yeah. Murad, I've used a lot of Murad products. I am using one now, actually. I have their skin brightener that my dermatologist cleared me to use. I took it to her and asked her because it has hydroquinone. Um, anyway, I'll do a review video on that at some other point. Um, <clears throat> Murad stuff is decent. I've liked some of it. They aren't very strict with the ingredients that they use. I already see there's a peg here. So they they aren't very strict with the ingredients. It's kind of like if you can find something healthier, you might as well if you're inclined. Um, and then also they're owned by Unilever. So Murad's cruelty free, but Unilever is not. So I disqualify them because of that reason alone and it saves my bank account. And then, um, uh, yeah, but let's see. I've used some of their things and it's nice. I, I've seen 
people rave about some of their products and then not about some of their products. I don't know any of the, the, anything about these two products, so I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna move on. I don't know anything about this Perlice, uh, these particular Perlice products. I'm excited. I got two Perlice masks in the last sale and I really can't wait for it to ship. Where the heck is it? Um, <clears throat> more Perlice. I don't know anything about that. Beauty Blender, the brush and the sponge cleaners. There's this one and then there's a solid version available in this sale. People are saying that they love the solid version much better. I did see one person say that they like one version for their brushes and one version for their sponges, but that was one person. Most of the other people that were talking about it said they like the solid version better, so I'm going to get that. Um, some people, so this is a uh, Lifestyle Co. I looked into this. This is a Los Angeles based line of products. They're newer. They have decent reviews for what they have out um, and they're cruelty free. And this is an essential oil blend for your under eye. There were people who said that this works really well for dark circles. I, um, my husband and I are working on getting pregnant and one of these days we will and I have seen warnings that if you are pregnant or um, breast nurse, pre pregnant or nursing, you should just kind of stay away from essential oils until you have reviewed them with your doctor. I've seen lavender listed as an essential oil that might not be so good if you're pregnant. I think it might cause uterine contractions. I'm not sure. Double check that. But just a, a, uh, essential oils in general, if you are pregnant or nursing, I just recently read you want to double check all the essential oils you're using just to be on the safe side. Um, but so I may or may not get that for those reasons because I'm we're trying to start a family and um, this ha is essential oils. Other than that, people said that it works really well for dark circles, especially there was one woman who was talking about that. Um, the life lifestyle. Uh, I'm interested in this lifestyle co line of products. They had some reviews and they were pretty they were pretty okay and I like their I like their style. I like their style. So um I might get this makeup remover as well. Um again it has essential oils. <clears throat> I have this. It smells terrible. People love it despite the smell. I think it's I think it's it absorbs really well. I like the way it sinks into my face. And one thing I noticed when I used it is I had some really pesky deep, uh, uh, one really pesky deep breakout that hadn't gone away. You could still feel it, but you couldn't feel it. It was a cystic zit, really. And I used this for two weeks and it is gone. It's entirely gone. And I I would say that I, I think that this was largely responsible. I did a... Uh, FabFitFun reviews video where I talked about this in detail. Um, it smells really bad. I some people, most people say that it's not that bad, and they've gotten used to it. I I haven't gotten used to it. I don't I I don't like the smell. Um, but I do think it could be really good for cystic acne. I'm not sure though. Don't don't like go buying it because I said that, but I do think that there must be something really special about it if so many people love it despite the smell. Um people also really do like this eye serum. Nobody says anything about it smelling bad or not. I am not I'm not going to get it. Um just because I have so many oil oh, all this this is it's a serum. I was thinking it was an oil. Yeah, it's mostly, it's oil, it's an oil, it's an oil, it's an oil serum. So this line of products, this is also newer. There was something that turned me off when I was reading this one about it. Um, not about the the product, but about the the founder. So it's it's cruelty free, it's newer. She's a, she grew up in New York, born in India and raised in New York. And I, there was just something about reading this, the way it was written, it made it sound like she was some otherworldly deity who came from on high to come save us from our skin problems. And it, it turned me off a little bit, and that, that's not a good reason to dump something. Well, it is a good reason. It was a good reason. It saved my, it saved my money. Um, and, then, and then I just got rid of it from my cart. 
I also couldn't, okay, on top of that, I couldn't find many reviews on the product, if any. I don't think I could find any reviews on the product. So it's, again, this is one of those newer lines that could be great, but we don't know because it hasn't been around very long to get a lot of reviews to make us feel confident in purchasing it. I can't find anything, <laughs> I can't find anything on this line of products. Um, <clears throat> more teeth whitening. So I said I was going to talk a little bit about teeth whitening. I bought Crest Strips. I did a review video on the Crest Strips on my channel as well. You can go find that one. And they worked great. They worked so well. And they're you can get them at Costco. I, I got them on sale. I think typically it's $39.99 for the uh, Costco set. You get two different uh, kits. And it was $39.99 typically, and they were on sale for $29.99 or $24.99, something ridiculous. So look out, if you have Costco, look out for them on a Costco membership, um, on a co <laughs> look out for them at Costco when they're on sale. They're super affordable, and they're so easy. You just stick them on your teeth, and then you pull them off. Anyway, I, I think they're great. So I don't feel the need to explore any of these really elaborate looking whitening kit system things. Um, oh, Style Fox. This is a newer line of products. Um, they also do clothes, I think. And yeah, they're kind of up and coming. Beauty Apparel, Be an Ambassador. They're up and coming kind of all over social media. You see them a lot. <clears throat> I, though, have sworn off of purchasing sheet masks. They just pile up and I barely ever use them and I realized one day that it's a little bit on the wasteful side. We might as well get masks that are in tubs and tubes that we could get a whole lot of uses out of um, instead. <clears throat> I don't know anything about these tools and I my recommendation as far as tools is that if you can't find, it's like the electronics, if you can't find good solid reviews on them, don't get them. You could get stuck with something that's kind of lame or doesn't work well or, yeah, don't get them. Um, this just looks like your standard roller. Uh, I saw one person say that they used this and liked it. It looks like a Foreo. Uh, let's see, Ish People. This, this is a FabFitFun's makeup brand and people say it's awful. I, I kind of am starting to wonder though if FabFitFun has heard that and has refined the formula and maybe it's better, but nobody has said so. So um, Ish pe People say the Ish stuff's terrible. Truly clear, people say that this stuff, this bar works really well uh, for clearing up breakouts. So if you are, if you're considering getting this, uh, People are saying wonderful things about it. Um, mud Masky, they had one product, I think it was a mask, probably a mud mask, <laughs> um, and it it is really popular, really highly rated, and they are coming out with other products. This is a newly launched product. They are a company based in the Netherlands, right here, you can see that, and then um, they're also cruelty-free, all that. So I'm kind of curious about this one. One thing I also want to mention, not about this product, but about FabFitFun in general, is that I have noticed really serious glaring errors sometimes in the description of these products on the FabFitFun website. So if something looks off, go check it. I remember in my last video, I noticed in the FabFitFun ingredients list on um, for the DP Hue apple cider vinegar hair rinse. I'm so sorry if you deleted it because in the FabFitFun description, it said it had a formaldehyde releaser in the ingredients, but if you go to the DP Hue site and you look at the ingredients, there is no formaldehyde releaser <laughs> listed. In fact, the ingredients were totally different. So FabFitFun does make errors in these descriptions. I, if, so if ever, if ever anything looks really off, definitely go double check it elsewhere and trust yourself on that. I was excited when I was reading up on this Erno Laszlo stuff. People say wonderful things about their products. If you're interested in this, I, I would, I, this would be definitely in the running as something that I would get, except for I did read that they entered the Chinese market in 2017 and therefore they lost their cruelty-free status. So for me, I'm not going to be getting it, but if you're debating getting this, this, and actually this bar too, people, it's, it's, they're highly rated. Um, Wish, I, I, I have used 
their lip scrub and they have a pear lip scrub available along with a lip balm if you like pear. I do recommend using a lip scrub paired with a lip balm or a lip um, moisturizer at night. It really makes a huge difference. I don't know about this. The people, I kind of don't think a hand scrub sounds very enjoyable. I feel like that's a very, I don't know. Uh, but people are saying that this stuff is great. So if you're on, on the fence there, you might try this out. Just, you know, don't forget if you want to start looking at cruelty-free stuff and, excuse me, and checking ingredients. There are those resources I showed you to help you decide. And then obviously check the ratings. One thing I've also noticed when you check ratings, don't, I, I made this mistake so many times, so don't, you know, like, I was quick to see when I would search some stars show up and assume that it matched the product that I searched, but you can see here's an obvious one. This is obviously not the Paracel can scrub, but just be sure when you do a search for reviews that you actually click through um, on the thing, the hits that come up and make sure that the star rating you're seeing is actually for the product that you're curious about because I made that mistake so many times <laughs> and I realized, oh, this didn't have any reviews. That Those reviews for actually, those reviews were for Sephora, just simply about Sephora and not about that product. That happened to me. Anyway, okay, <laughs> I digress. Um, I am really excited to learn more about this company. I am probably going to subscribe. I am going to take you over to their website right now and I'm going to show you what they are all about. They are, and it's solely focused on women and our periods, and they are about clean uh, tampons, clean, uh, <laughs> clean pads. Um, because you know there's bleach and other kinds of nasties in our feminine products and you can subscribe you can build a box you can go here and I'm gonna do this and it's only eight dollars a month starting at eight dollars a month you can order your non-toxic tampons and you can also <laughs> I do not work for bloom I swear so which products do you use this is a little quiz I use tampons um, I'm so excited about this. I, I would get eight regulars, eight super. This would be this would be the one that I would want. I would get option one, eight dollars. And then you can build on that. You can say, okay, I want it monthly because that kind of makes sense. It's their most popular too. And then you can add like little bundles. And this one includes a deodorant, a face wash, and the blemish treatment, which is available in this sale. Or you can also add some chocolate to your box. You can add the essential oil blend that's available in the sale. I am so into this, obviously. Okay, I am I am calm. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I'm going to try this out. I'm going to get one for me and I'm going to get one for my brother. My brother suffers from cystic acne and he has since he was a teenager and he's 40 now and he still gets it from time to time. And uh, people are saying that this stuff really, really works. Um, wow, I can't believe how excited I got to just tell you about the Bloom products. Um, again, there are so many products like this. Billion Dollar Brows, it's a line of... of Brow products, brow specific obviously, brow specific products is created by this woman who grew up in Orange County and started working in Hollywood and she wanted some, a line of products that worked well for her unruly eyebrows. Anyway, so it's American made and I believe it's cruelty free, double check that. Um, Urban Skin RX, this is an interesting line. I learned a little bit more. I bought their cleansing bar in the last sale, which I didn't like too m much. I didn't like the way it functioned really. It had very high ratings. Um, so I am kind of alone in that. They, What I didn't like about it is they, well, no, I did a review. I talked about it in another video. So you can go watch my other videos. Um, it was in a pretty recent video too. Anyway, the Urban Skin RX company, they are geared toward women of color. So, the founder said that in her days as a medical esthetician, this is off the top of my head and I'm remembering, so in her day, oh, see, women of color. Um, so in her days as a medical esthetician, she noticed that darker skin needed different types of ingredients. And so she ended up steering into specializing in that. So 
I would check this out if you fit into that group. I thought that that was really interesting. Um, so definitely look more into this. Look more into this if you fall into that category. Um, and, it, and I'm pretty certain that they're cruelty-free and all that. Double check me on that. It's hard to memorize every single thing. I, obviously, though, I do look into every single thing. Or not every single thing. No, I don't even look in every single thing. I read about a lot of the things. Um, Okay, I have finally been seeing a couple of people say that they feel like these vitamins actually work. It makes sense that it would take a while for somebody to say so because you need to take vitamins for a while to see if they work. But there was a woman who posted earlier today, I think, that said that she felt like her hair was growing in stronger and healthier because of um, the uh, women's multi. Um, people like the poopery. This was in last call last time, so... That goes to show that something that was in last call is here again. Um, FabFitFun can't seem to get a handle, handle on their inventory. It's very frustrating. Okay. Um, konjac sponge. Konjac is a uh, root, uh, so it's, a, it's an herbal um, skincare ingredient. And people love the cocoa floss. People are saying wonderful things. They're super excited to see it in the sale. Perlice, people say great things about Perlice, but I don't know anything about the Perlice uh, products that are available in this particular sale. Again, here's Black. I believe it's an Australian company. You know what? Let's go check them out. I just, I, I'm not, I think there's something about the packaging and the, the presentation that just doesn't appeal to me. I haven't wanted to ever try anything by this company. It's an Australian, it's an Australian skincare brand minimal we're the cool kids when it comes to innovation yeah I'm just not they don't appeal to me at all so anyway I don't know anything about them uh, this the, this has good reviews on Amazon really decent reviews but the people who reviewed I did read some of them all of their pictures they looked very very posed and similar they were different women but they all looked very posed and similar, so that was a little fishy. Uh, there's Ish, again, people don't say good things about it. Dr. Brandt, people say good things about it, but they test on animals. People love this eye cream. I bought it for my husband. He always forgets to use it. I am very close to taking it and using it for myself. Um, I used this, and I thought it was okay. They weren't... I, I'm not getting them again. They're not in my cart. They smell great if you like a subtle coconut beachy smell. Um, and they, they're they fine. They're fine. They're fine shampoo and conditioner. That's, that's the word. They're fine. This is really... Okay, I have it. I like it. I'm not getting it again. I don't recommend it if you have hair that is anywhere near as poofy as mine. I am wearing this. If you go back to my thousand subscriber giveaway video, which is now closed, but if you go to that video, I am wearing this. I, that is day two hair with this product in my hair. So if you have hair that is really big and poofy and frizzy and curly like mine, it's not quite as controlling as I would like. I saw another woman though, I bought it because I saw another woman on the forum post a picture of herself with it in her hair and it looked fantastic. I do like the way, it's a spray, it's um, it's a spray canister. I do like the way it sprays, it is not suffocating, you can barely smell it, it hardly has a smell, and it goes on super super evenly. So those are a bunch of pluses about it. I, I, I do not like spray products. Even the pump sprays sometimes is a little bit much because they're just a little bit stuff. No, I wouldn't say that. Never mind. I'm, I'm, the pump sprays are fine, <laughs> but the, the air, more aerosol like sprays are just so <laughs> suffocating. Um, I just, I just caught myself talking and not, yeah, anyway, that was not true. Um, pump sprays are totally fine. Okay. So, yeah, so I, I like the one I have. I'm going to use it up. It's definitely a more wild woman look when I use it. Um, more teeth whitening. Uh, more. So this one, 
some people, this is Dr. Brandt, not cruelty free, but some people I remember seeing uh, opinions a couple sales ago about this when it was available then, that this is a little strange to use. Um, and people couldn't quite figure it out. That's that's the memory I have from a little while ago. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't remember seeing anyone say that this was awesome. I just remember people saying it was kind of strange. I, I don't look into it further, read reviews. There are, there have to be reviews out there about it. People say that this is just plain awful. Don't get it. So that's a kind of a hands down agreement across the board on the forum. Beauty Cop is a London company, made in, all their stuff's made in China. They're cruelty free though. Um, <clears throat> Revita Brow, Revita Lash, this line of products. So this was made by a doctor whose wife, I believe, was going through treatment for cancer and her eyelashes were falling out. So he made a line of products to help her with it. Um, people say that the Revita Lash, I'm, uh, so yeah, so that's what these are all about. I am gonna try the Revita Lash once we get to it. I'm gonna try that. People kept on asking, how does the Revita Lash compare to the Lashes MD? And somebody put it well. I am assuming that they were correct, but the way they described it on the forum, so this was on the forum, take it with a grain of salt, but they described the Revita Lash as um, something that encouraged growth and the Lashes MD as something that was more like a conditioner for the lashes that are there. Um, I did see some people say that this was not a very effective uh, lash wash though. And that kind of makes sense. If, you're, if your eyelashes are falling out, you want something that's more gentle. So maybe it's very gentle and it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't attack your makeup very well. I don't know. That, I'm just, that's just conjecture. <laughs> um, this is the Marrakesh line. I believe this is Earthly Body. They make the Marrakesh, other Marrakesh products. I really love those products. Um, I just don't need an argan oil. I have argan oil, and I'm getting other earthly body products in this sale. Uh, Morely date more daily concepts, good stuff. Um, more electronics. I don't even know. I haven't seen anyone say anything about this. I just be careful when you're ordering stuff like that on here. Here's the other Bloom PMS oil from that website that I got so excited where it's the build a box around your period uh, subscription. I am just so into it. I I am so I buy the Tampax tampons with cardboard applicator and they are so difficult to find. Most of tampon most tampons have the plastic pearl whatever plastic applicators and it's just terrible for the environment all that plastic so I, I search for the cardboard applicators anyway I'm really excited to find that subscription through here through FabFitFun Bloom anyway people say that this stuff really works for them I don't get bad enough uh, cramps and all that to feel like I need something like this um, though uh, Murad, I don't, I don't know anything about that particular product. Uh, you, I talked about Murad. Some of the stuff is great. Some people don't like other stuff of theirs. I don't tend to get jewelry. Once I get to an individual jewelry product, I will talk a little bit more about why I'm not so into their jewelry. I just be careful if you're ordering jewelry. Really, uh, take a look at what it's made of. Here's more of the Lifestyle Company. This is the LA-based company that I was really curious about. Uh, they had the roller bot roller. Blech. They had the roller ball eye serum and the makeup remover that I'm probably gonna get that I talked about a little bit ago. I haven't seen anybody talk about these. They were in the available. They were available in the last sale. I have this hand cream, and I have this red mud. Uh, mask. So um, the hand creams okay. I like my Trader Joe's hand cream much better. The scent is on the stronger side. I don't really know exactly how to describe what it smells like. I guess that it was fresh would be the. It's a fresh scent. Um, it's really hard to. I have to get better at describing scents. I think. Um, but uh, it's strong though. And then I don't like the mud mask. Um, so much. It's I, I have another mud mask that's much better to me. I like a mud mask that really dries up and really feels like it's sucked toxins out of my face and I don't get that feeling when I use that mud mask. Also it's like this blue shimmery sparkly 
color and it doesn't look like mud it looks like mermaid mud i guess is the way i would describe it i i'm just not into it i yeah um i haven't tried this blue ahava mineral mud mask though i don't know what the difference is these are so fun i just think those are fun i don't think i could pull them off but they're so fun um okay i don't know anything about babe lash i haven't looked into that uh okay let's get into jewelry so fat bit fun jewelry i don't buy and i don't know that i ever will what bothers me is that this for instance has zinc casting and steel jump rings and it's glass and epoxy stone and shiny gold plating okay that's fine it's barely worth $14 for all of those materials but what's really annoying is that they say that that retails for $42 are you bonkers no and look at how little it is that is just so insane to me there are some pieces of jewelry on here that are sterling silver and they're they look like they're much better made but most of their jewelry when you really look at the materials it is it's so not worth the retail value and it's barely worth the sale price so that's that's my feelings about fat fit fun jewelry but they do have nice stuff available sometimes just really look at the materials this has <clears throat> A whole lot of really good reviews. I had it in my box and I'm gonna throw it back in there. <laughs> uh, I think it was an Ipsy. It's been in other uh, subscription boxes and people went on and they reviewed it and they said wonderful things. Um, there's the Glow Serum, also buy that. But it was actually, it was really this that had the great reviews. And so they have a couple other things available by that line, but it was really this that had the amazing reviews. The other stuff I think is maybe just newer or is new to being in subscription boxes. Anyway, I'm going to try not to start talking <laughs> about and saying I think and maybe. I'll try to only deliver facts and <laughs> so I can move this along because we're already at almost an hour. There's Billion Dollar Bras again. I touched on that company. Um, more jewelry. Take a look at the materials. Um, uh, so somebody on the forum said that the ingredients in this were awful and I asked her why and she hasn't responded I, I ran it through skin charisma it looks fine I mean there's some oils so if you have uh, some acne issues with some certain oils I don't know I don't know why she said that it looks fine to me um, and it is a company that is in again I think in LA and they're they're they are held by certain salons, um, but I'm kind of curious about it. I'm, I'm, I may or may not get it. I realize I need an eye cream, so I'm looking at this one. I probably won't get anything by this line, but I'm still keeping it in the running. This, I think, just looks really cute. Not cute, like classy, but I can't find any reviews on it. So, and I, I actually. It says cruelty free here, but I feel like I couldn't confirm that on the website. <laughs> anyway, it just looks so awesome. <sighs> I need an eye cream, so I'm also looking at that one. I am curious about this red snail mask, and I know you're probably thinking, well, you're so cruelty free and you're thinking of getting a snail mask. So animal ingredients and cruelty free are two different things, and it depends on how it's harvested. I have a I have to learn more about how the snail slime is actually harvested. I'm not sure. I it's I want to I want to think it's ethically done, but I will probably look into it. It will probably look awful and I will probably dump this from my cart. On the flip side, I know Jamie French did a video on snail um snails scum snail slime, sorry, snail slime in uh, skin hair and sh her results were incredible I will try to remember to put that the link to that video in the description box um, if it's not there please nudge me and it is Jamie French is the youtuber she did it she did that video um, so I'm curious about those uh, this is again Cal Pharma they did the namaste skincare and the skin RX stuff I don't know anything else about what's available there 
uh, Celepiderm. I believe this is a K Beauty, Korean Beauty. It's hard to find much on K Beauty products. That's straightforward when you do a search to find out more about the company. I'm considering this. I'm cons I want to get a a makeup remover, so I'm considering this. Um, these are cute chic and tonic um, bar stuff. Oh, these these oils have great reviews. I don't know much about essential oils, so I'm not getting any essential oils. Uh, this Air NYC, they're an organic company out of New York City, um, cruelty free, all that. I don't know anything about this body wash, but I have this face wash from my Pettiver box, and it is okay. It it leaks, so don't travel with it. I had that experience. At least my bottle did. It's okay. It has a. Uh, Kind of a herbal smell which isn't very strong uh, the smell is pleasant I find it to be a little bit too harsh for my dry skin it's okay it's an okay face wash I uh, I think if you have oily skin you might really like it <clears throat> Etica I think that they're yeah see gold-plated brass um, but this is so pretty this is so pretty anyway just you know it's so pretty this one anyway <laughs> um look at the materials these have really good reviews these roll-on oils um yeah so if you're interested they have two different ones available again oils i'm just kind of staying away from more electronics i say the same thing if you're looking for something like this i would say just go elsewhere and find something that has great reviews then get it on Black Friday or whenever you need to and invest there. You can't return these things as e very easily from FabFitFun and it's, yeah, I've, I just know that a lot of people have had really awful experiences getting electronics from FabFitFun and then never being able to get a replacement or their money back or it just being a huge hassle. I wouldn't get it from here and I don't think that there are a lot of reviews on this particular uh, brand anyway. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. This is a newer line, um, cruelty free and all that, but it's just newer. Couldn't find a lot of reviews on their stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to learn that they have these rounds that are reusable. I use cotton rounds all the time. and um, There are two available in the sale. One is Daily Concepts, one is this one. Look on Amazon. Amazon has some where there are like 20 cotton rounds and a little baggie that you put them in and you can put them in the washing machine and all that. So I am going to get some, but I'm not going to get some of them in this sale. People love the Green Goo stuff. I got a Green Goo dry, dry skin tin and it sits unused. So if you are getting talked into it, you're stalking the forum and everyone's talking about it, really think about like, are you ever going to use it? I got the dry skin one, like I said, and it just sits unused. I never touch it. These are really cool. And you know what I learned <laughs> from the forum is that they are magnetized and you can stick them to your fridge. The bottom, the bottom of the tin, you, try, you can stick it to your fridge. It's so cool. I'm not getting them though because I would never use it. I'm not a cook. <laughs> my husband cooks and he's pretty particular so this is a Korean brand they are new I can't find hardly any reviews on them looks like they just started selling their stuff in Australia um, and oh yes yes that's this one sorry I almost I almost thought that I mixed it up with something I need to double check Haru Har yeah Yes, yes, I, I didn't mix it up. I had a moment where I thought I mixed it up with something else. Everything is fine. Um, these little towelettes, somebody on the forum was talking about how much she loved them and was excited to see them. Um, I wouldn't get these. I did look into these and I uh, feel like I saw really uh, not good reviews. Not really not good reviews. I don't feel like I found good reviews on them if I'm um, remembering off the top of my head correctly. More ish makeup stuff. People don't like it. Uh, Kate Spade. They keep having Kate Spade stuff, which is interesting. This is a cute purse. It's genuine leather. Um, <laughs> I thought it, anyway, just stopping by to say that purse is cute. Um, this clay <clears throat> stuff is interesting. I don't do facial steam. Corez is decent. They had the body butters and they had the night overnight mask. 
and it's Quora's is good. They're a great company. They're cruelty free. Uh, sometimes they're a little bit looser in the ingredients they use. They use the more questionable ingredients once in a while. The ingredients in here are are fine. Oil and oils. Their ingredient ingredients are usually um, just just fine. Nothing to worry about except for the fact that you know if if you are super acne prone, you want to be careful about which oils you use. Um, yeah, anyway, it, that that looks all right if you want to try it. I'm not going to. So this Slowly Plum Elixir, I have a little sample. Plum oil is so amazing. I got a plum oil called Le Prunier, Le Prunier, L-E-P-R-U-N-I-E-R, in my Pettiver box, and it is heavenly to use. I got a sample of this one, and it is nice. This is not pure plum oil though, and I do feel like having the other oils in with it takes away from the plum oil, and it's not nearly as heavenly as the straight plum oil from La Prunier, or La Prunier, I'm, I don't speak French, but it means the plum in French. Um, so. Uh, I believe it means the plum in French. Okay, well, I'm not going to spend time looking that up. I'm pretty sure it means the plum in French. Um, so I am not, having had a sample, and I think it's pleasant, I don't think it's worth $24. That is my takeaway. I am, okay, I had totally overlooked London Town nail lac lacquers, nail polishes. <laughs> I had totally overlooked London Town nail polishes. And I saw, I watched this YouTuber called Tammy's Ageless Beauty. She's so pretty. She is so refined. I love her recommendations. And she recommended these things. She did have a product code, so I'm not sure if she had been sponsored at one point by them. But I am very curious to try their line of products. Also, because I think that they are, um, Let's look this up. They are, they use better ingredients. I think they might be phthalate free, which is a big, huge deal. Let me make sure that I'm right. Sorry, if this takes too long, I promise I will just give up. But I think that they're, um, why is London Town different? They're infused with an ingredient called Florium Complex. This is infused with botanicals to nourish the nails. Um, uh, I think I thought they were, they were phthalate free. Anyway, look into their website a little bit more. I'm excited to explore and try out this line of nail products. Um, because our nail polish also has some ingredients where it's kind of like if you can avoid it you might as well that's how i describe it <clears throat> this line of products i'm also excited about because they they advertise themselves on the their website as luxury beauty at affordable prices and they say that the reason that they're able to have affordable prices is because they don't have a huge See, luxury beauty at practical prices. And it's because here's traditional beauty, and this is all the costs that add up, product costs, celebrity endorsement, high gloss advertising, plus their costs. And here with mail, it's product cost plus mail costs. So they don't have celebrity endorsement, they don't do high gloss advertising, and that's how they keep their prices affordable. So I think that that's really cool. I am, if for my get ready with me's, I am interested in trying this so that I can play with under eye and and setting powder and that kind of stuff. Um, so I might get this. I probably won't as I get to paring down my cart. This is edible. So this is Earthly Body. This is the company that makes the Marrakesh line, and I am really into the Earthly Body line two i um oh gosh this is getting so long um so <laughs> i this is kind of fun it's edible massage oil it doesn't last all that long it expi expires november 2020 and it's three big bottles so that was one of the few reasons why i dumped it this is also earthly body um the marrakesh brand um 
I am into this. I'm going to try this out and see how it works. It's seven bucks and it's a body spray oil and it can double as a massage oil. I don't think this one's edible though. This is also, also Earthly Body Marrakesh. I'm getting two of these because I think that these would just be awesome to break up into uh, gifts for Christmas. I am already thinking about Christmas. If you are new and you want, are thinking about waiting until winter to buy Christmas presents, don't do that because FabFitFun is terrible about shipping and you won't get it in time <laughs> or you may not get it in time. You very well may not get your products in time for Christmas. Um, I do remember also looking this one up and seeing reviews where the people said that it smelled really good. I just I just love the Marrakesh uh, hair oil and the hair uh, the leave-in conditioning spray of theirs, so I'm excited to try some more brands from Earthly Body. Milk makeup. I have seen very split opinions on milk makeup. I've seen some people say I give it to my niece to play with as, you know, play makeup and then some people swear by it for themselves. Here, Millie Wood Rose. This is a newer line of beauty products. Um, a woman developed it recently. It is cruelty free. I would be into this, except for I really only do long lasting colors because I'm <laughs> lazy like that. And then um, I'm not, I just don't really like these colors very much, but they look cute. Um, more Millie Rose. That's the same line. Um, again, electronics. I don't know why, but I am drawn to this hair mask. It's a Paris line of products. I don't know why. There's It doesn't have any reviews that I can find, but I am drawn to it and I kind of want to try it. I can't tell you why I'm drawn to it. Mother Dirt, uh, they're all about um, using botanical ingredients and all of that. And um, the, they, I like them. I looked at their website to see if they were cruelty free. I liked how they, they put it. They said, we don't test our products on animals, but for full disclosure, we do partner with a biopharmaceutical company and they test on animals. Medical companies inherently test on animals, but it's a whole different reason than if you simply want to sell in China and therefore you have to test your product on animal products on animals because China makes you um, and it's all for profit. Um, this is a refillable natural deodorant. I did see a few people um, say that they were really excited to see it in the sale, and then I saw some people say that um, although the concept is awesome, it, it doesn't work. The de deodorant doesn't work. Um, my tagalongs. Here's more Ms. Skin, the really high-end luxury skincare where I was trying to figure out why it's so expensive, um, and they donated some costs to provide um, medical care to Lebanese children. I think perhaps the doctor who started the company must be Lebanese, Lebanese um, or something. Um, I couldn't find if it was cruelty-free. And then I don't do fragrance. This name sounded familiar. Um, if you know anything about it, again, and also if you please leave comments in the, in the, leave comments on the video, start a discussion. Let's talk about these things that are available. Let me know if you've heard differently, all of that kind of stuff. I, again, I'm not the end all be all. Um, I was really interested in this because sometimes I just feel so tired and a, sh and a squirt of vitamin B12, this sounds great. Um, Okay, we're going to start to uh, speed past these things because, you know, these these kinds of things, it's simply like, if you just think they're cute, go ahead and grab it. Um, oh, I did look into this. This is a uh, Beverly Hills um, Aestheticians line. Uh, they're small. Uh, their website even says, we are small. We ship straight from our clinic in Beverly Hills. So, um, you know, it takes about a week for you to get your products. It has decent reviews. I'm actually considering getting this for my mother for Christmas. Um, okay. <clears throat> uh, this this is a newer company established by two sisters, cruelty free, all of that. Couldn't find any reviews. Saturday skin, gray area as far as being cruelty free. Aside from that, people say great, people are, I'm starting to see people say great things about this newer company that is K-Beauty. It's, um, they were started by some beauty group in South Korea called Chalogy, C-H-A-L-O-G-Y. You can go to the website and learn more about it. I just noticed this line of products in Whole Foods like three days ago. And so I, I was kind of ple pleasantly surprised to see it available in this sale. So this is another super awesome, cruelty-free, sustainable company. I mentioned I needed a facial moisturizer. This might just be the one that I try out. They are new, um, 
but I might just I might just go ahead and give this one a, a go. I I don't know. I I might go back to Whole Foods and see if I can uh, test uh, try a tester. This is a K Beauty brand. I couldn't find much on to make me feel confident in getting it. This <clears throat> this Wayne Goss did a video about this, a dedicated video about this setting spray. I saw some people say on the forum that it is the same setting spray as the Urban Decay All Nighter one. It's just packaged differently, which happens all the time. It happens all the time. Companies will use the same lab and just change the packaging and compete against each other. So that's what this is. So if you like the Urban Decay All Nighter, go ahead and get this one. You'll love it too. Skin Owl is a, a is a cruelty free organic line. I used their neck cream. It was okay. It wasn't a cream. It was more like a gel. Um, more of the whitening kits. Uh, oh, there are a lot available in this sale. People said that this works for smelly shoes. Um, 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 South Seas. This I did read on this, but I'm not remembering offhand what I read exactly. So I am in the interest of this being already an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm trying to move forward. I would never trust myself German, German planning on myself. So I'm not getting that. <clears throat> I couldn't find much on these. I tried to. Strivectin. They have Strivectin stuff. I don't know if it's these things available at Costco. I, um, I saw one person say that they had tried a couple of other things by Strivectin, saw no results, and then gave up on the line of products. I haven't seen anybody, although it's been asked, I haven't seen anybody say any that they've used these products and whether or not they're any good. Uh, more Style Fox. Uh, Summer and Rose. Summer, Ro is in Ro Summer and Rose is a FabFitFun line of products. They look decent. People don't say that they're uh, not good. Terra Mare is a lovely high-end vegan organic cruelty-free skincare line. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I think that these particular products that are available in this sale might be newer because I couldn't find any reviews on them. I am not getting this one because I'm um I'm not really a fan of rose. I'm a little bit sick of this rose scent. Um, but there, I might try one of, they have four products available and I might try the cleanser or the scrub. I'm not sure yet. Um, more jewelry, check the materials, beauty crop. Um, they made the eyebrow stuff that I said was awful that people, that I said that people said was awful a little bit ago. Um, nobody said anything about this one though. Uh, laundress. I remember hearing about this years ago. Um, careful with the scent that's cedar the scent is cedar <coughs> so definitely take note of the scent um but laundress it, it's supposed to be pretty good people were really excited to see them in the last sale and they sold out like crazy but they're not selling out this time i wonder if that says anything um people say that the stuff from this works actually does work it's an appropriate name i've never used anything by them okay purses Look at the materials again, uh, like jewelry with purses. Look at the materials. Make sure that it's something that is the quality that you are expecting. There's more of the Urban Skin RX. The company that I mentioned was um, created for women of color, is geared toward women of color. Just, I'm just looking at the ingredients here. Uh, there's a peg is the first ingredient. That's interesting. Um, okay, so this Visanti, this stuff has tons of amazing reviews tons and tons it's made in canada cruelty free all of that so i'm probably i'm either going to get this one which is a full size of their exfoliator or i'm going to get this one which has a um and i i didn't notice that so if you didn't notice this because the fr the front image is just makeup wipes but the second image is a little trial size of that exfoliator and this item these items this is a little bundle is seven dollars whereas the full size exfoliator is eleven so definitely I'm, I'm not sure I'm gonna get one or the other I'm not sure which this is another newer line of products um, by a woman a lot of these lines it's awesome are made by women who came out with their own brand and want to do something good for themselves and the world so that's fantastic more sheet masks I mentioned I've decided I'm cut off from sheet masks 
Uh, more electronics, I'd buyer beware with electronics. I'm not interested in either of these Wander Beauty products. Um, yeah, this had okay reviews on Sephora. I want to try Wander Beauty at some point. Um, this Gua Sha stuff, uh, unless you know how to do Gua Sha, I'm not sure why, I don't know, maybe Gua Sha, maybe doing Gua Sha is easy. So it's a way of scraping your skin with those stones and yeah, look into what Gua Sha is maybe before you purchase those. Juice Beauty, I want to love Juice Beauty, but so far their products have four star or less reviews. So definitely don't expect to be impressed if you get that more myriad. This is the other beauty blender cleanser that I, I said people voted for this one. It seemed over the liquid version. It's the solid bar. I am going to get it. Um, more ish. So ish isn't highly rated. Uh, the Aquis hair towels and turbans. There's something about that towel that really works. It's really absorbent. I like the towels better. Well, I like the towels better than the turbans. I've only ever tried a cheapo turban though. So those never stayed in my hair well. So maybe these are excellent. I have a lot of hair. I have a lot. It's very heavy. Um, but I like the towels better. But there's something about the material. It really absorbs. People are saying with this camera that it is not a good deal. You can get a better deal on a better bundle on Amazon or at Target. And they're often in, on sale. If I had a teenager, though, I'd totally get it for them. That's so cute. Um, more milk makeup. Very split reviews on milk makeup. I these these have good reviews they look excellent and comfy I just don't I, I'm into a more feminine girly style than just uh, straight up black PJ <coughs> these kinds of blankets I don't know what happened but and I'm in California too so they're very popular and they're very cheap so I'm not sure what this is all about look into this you might be able to find a, a Mexican blanket on eBay or on Amazon for 10 bucks. I mean, you go to Mexico and they're like five pesos. Um, I have, we have like four of them and they're not comfy cozy. Don't expect to bundle up on the couch with these. Um, they're great for like the beach or to lay over your car seat so that your dog doesn't get it dirty. They're a little bit on the scratchier side. They soften up as you wash them, but they're a little bit scratchier. So don't cozy up on the couch with them. This is a kind of cool concept and idea. I thought about this as a gift. This little piece right here is brass. So not the best quality, but these are semi-precious stones if they are real. They're supposed to be amethyst and these are labradite. Anyway, I thought this was kind of cute. I thought about it as a gift. Um, okay, I'm going to move past rugs and furniture and luggage. I don't know anything about it. Oh, I do know about this one though. A lot of people have gotten this and say that they really like it and it's a great addition to their household. It folds into a bed or it folds out into a bed. It folds back up into a beanbag chair <laughs> or not beanbag, not beanbag. I don't know what is in it, but not beans. Okay. I used this. Uh, people are very excited about it. It is very true to the description. The scent is very true to the description. I found it to be a little bit more drying but than I would like, but I have dry skin. It's, it foams. It does foam. I didn't so much like the scent. I'm not a fan of rose so much. I, I like it, but I'm realizing that I just really don't like it in my beauty products. Um, so that's my opinion, but I'm alone in that. People are raving about it. People love it. So don't listen to me on that one. <laughs> more bundles that are out of stock, um, more immunocology, people like them. The Z Skin stuff I looked into, it has some good ratings. Um, this was interesting, this is Briogeo. This is a skincare thing by Briogeo. I've never seen anything in skincare by them, so either they're branching out or I am, have been in the dark, one or the other. This is the pear lip um, stuff from Wish that I had talked about. If you like pear, it might be good. This is more Wonder. This is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice. I talked about Wonder already. They are a Korean brand. They started to sell on the shelves in Australia. Um, no reviews to be found about their products. They're very new. <coughs> People are saying great things about the Tarte uh, dry shampoo. 
people are saying great things about this pillow, these pillowcases. I feel like I would want just like a whole set of sheets with pillowcases that are bamboo. I have a, sh a set that I got at Costco on sale once for, <clears throat> I want to say like $50 or something. This has really good reviews. I have it in my cart. I'm going to see if it ends up being a serum that I buy. Um, this I looked into because I thought it was really, really pretty. Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> I thought it was really, really pretty. I, this ash wood, though, I was curious what the best woods are to use for cutting boards. And ash wood is not an ideal wood to use for a cutting board. I read that it's a little bit more porous than you would like, although it's gorgeous. I mean, get it. It, it didn't say that it's a horrible wood to use, but it, it just wasn't an ideal wood. Okay, I'm gonna skim through these. I'm curious about getting a corksicle tumbler. My swell bottle is leaking. It's really frustrating. People are saying that this could be a really awesome little kit, even people who have used uh, starter kits before. I'm thinking of getting one for our brother, my brother-in-law, our brother-in-law, yeah. It's my husband's brother-in-law as well. Um, there's more of the cotton wipes, more jewelry, more perfume, oh, Gucci, Gucci sunglasses, get your Gucci sunglasses. I am interested in this. Um, it just looks practical and like it would last a lifetime. Um, more of that Miss Skincare I already talked about. I used this. I Another thing I think I'm alone in, I don't like the fragranciness of this product although you know there are some fragrances I love there's a perfuminess that I don't like about the Moroccan gold series stuff I don't like their hair mask so much the hair mask of theirs came in our winter box if you liked how that smells and you liked how that worked you're gonna like this one um, functionally though I do, do remember um, it had a really wide spray so if you get it and you use it just hold it really close to your hair uh, so you don't lose any product um, I did not like their dry shampoo. But the dry shampoo here is, I think, the little guy. Yeah, the big guy is the texturizing spray. And I've used the texturizing spray. I just don't like texturizing sprays on my hair in general. But their dry shampoo just did nothing for me. I remember seeing somebody say the same thing on the forum and saying it just felt like they got a can of air. Uh, and I thought that was so apropos. Um, so, and then this, so Oribe, I'm debating getting this. I don't know. I hated the dry shampoo, so I don't know if I really want this, but I do need shampoo and conditioner, so I might give it a try. It also comes with an oil. It's so highly rated. I don't know. Anyway, this is a purse that you can hide wine in, so if you're into that kind of thing. Um, this smells a lot like the Bum Bum Cream. Rachel M., she's another YouTuber. She does videos like mine. She's definitely very much more specifically beauty products than I am. Sometimes I branch out a little bit. I'm, I'm skiing. Anyway, um, <laughs> so she said, <laughs> she said that this um, smells a lot like the Bum Bum Cream. So if you like that, you'd be into that. Oh, Tarte Amazonian Clay. Tarte's owned by a company called Coz, so which isn't cruelty-free. Tarte's cruelty-free. But the Amazonian Clay stuff, I've seen people say, works really well. I am into this mascara. What is going on with this spoolie? I want to try this. I think that those little spikies could be so helpful in separating the lashes. I, I think it had good ratings. I have to double check that, but I'm into it. I want to try it. My mother uses these dryer balls, and she swears by them. Um, more Juice Beauty. I wish it had better ratings. I always wanted to fall in love with it. Oh my gosh, and that's that's it. That's it. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Again, engage in a dialogue in the comments below. Uh, share your experiences. I thank you. <laughs> if you lasted this long, you are a rock star. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you later.